Oh, hi guys, this is Mr. Rego. Welcome back to our video number five for our series Beat the Test Review for Geometry EOC exam. Uh, right now, we're going to go on, concentrate on a couple of constructions. Okay, I'm going to try to explain as simple as possible. Uh, let's read the problem, and we're going to use the help of another short video to illustrate the, the construction. So, the question is Caleb is constructing a line parallel to line ST through point Z. Part of his construction is shown already where he has labeled points H, K, and Q. Select the steps that will complete the construction. And I have a couple steps down here that, you know, there are options. Okay, so the main idea is to understand what's going on. How do we make this construction? So let's, let's go back. So I want a line, uh, I want to have a line that is parallel to ST. So I want a line that is parallel to ST and that it goes through Z. So technically, this is what I want. I want something like that, you know, parallel to the bottom one. You know, this, this suppose that was straight. Okay, <laughs> let's pretend. Um, okay, so that's the idea. I want to have a line parallel to that. Part of his construction is showing already. So let's understand what he has right now. So the, the main idea is the following. He has the, the line ST and then he has a diagonal. Okay, he wants to construct a line through point Z. So let's understand these arcs that he has. So with uh, T being the center of the circle, he's going to draw an arc right here. So he drew an arc and he cut Q and H. He cut Q on the diagonal and H on his, on his line. All right, now with the same aperture, the same radius of that compass, he went to point Z. So Z is going to behave as T. K is going to behave as Q. All right. So the idea is to find H. I want to find a point H over here where I draw my line between Z and H. I'm sorry, with between C and whatever question, and whatever point is this. And I'm going to draw my line and that's going to be a horizontal line. Okay. Which is parallel to the bottom one. How do I do that? Okay. So here we go. He has this point, same radius from the bottom, and he makes an arc. And now what he has to do is he's going to go and he takes his compass, and he's going to be standing at Q and making this radius, this aperture, this distance as the radius. And with the same radius, he's going to come over here and be sitting at K, and he will be making an arc. So long story short, Let's pretend that this is K, this aperture, and he will make an arc like there. And whatever the two intersect, he'll be labeling that point, and at that point, he draw a line, and that's horizontal line. Okay? So his steps over here, his steps over here are, um, his next step is to change the compass to the distance between H and Q, right? That would be step number two, number one, I'm sorry. All right, change the compass setting to distance between H and Q. And having that distance, he'll have to stand at K and then make an arc. He has to be standing at K and making an arc. Um, place the compass point on point K and make an arc. So B will be his second step. Once he has that, then third step is label the point where the arcs intersect with W. That will be W. And then draw a line through point Z and point W, and then point Z and point W, and that will, will be his part of the line. Okay, let me show you a short video uh, demonstrating this. So right now he has his arc. All right, again, this is just the whole thing uh, because this geodera doesn't have, you know, just a little piece. So with the same radius, he drew on the top. Now he grabbed the distance between F and E, and he's going to stand right here, and he's going to make an arc. Okay, and now he just made an arc. And where they intersect, which in our case is point W, he's going to draw a line. All right, he's going to draw a line between C and W. You see that, how he's going to connect those two points? And right there, that's going to be my line parallel to the bottom. Okay, so that's a quick demonstration of what we just did. Um, I hope that illustrates a little bit better, okay? And that will be point question number 13. Let's go to question number 14, a little bit more 
another construction guys uh, our question number 14 is to construct a square they give me four letters so those are the vertices of my square s t c k now to do that because i need a compass and straight lines and all that stuff what i'm going to use is i'm going to use a software that is called geogebra geogebra for geometry the main idea is the following what is the process the process is i'm going to draw a line on that line, I'm going to have two points, and this in this case could be S and T. You know, it doesn't matter. We need four points, all right? So let's call that S and T. The next step is, being on point B, I need to make an arc on both sides of point B, all right? So in this case, uh, this makes a whole circle. So I'm going to go here, and that will be my compass, and I'm going to make an arc on both sides, all right? So let's pretend that this is... So uh, let's call this point C. Is that again? Uh, let's say point C right the intersection. Let me point and then let me label the other point point D. Okay. All right. Cool. Now standing on point D. Now I have an arc right here. Ignore the whole circle. It's just an arc right here and arc on point C. All right. Uh, and I got it just by standing on point B. And that could be any any uh, measure, it doesn't matter. Now what's gonna happen is I'm gonna stand on point D and I'll make an arc beyond B. And with the same radius or same distance, I'm gonna stand on point C and do the same circle. Okay, and those two are gonna intersect on the top. Let me show you that. So let me put a, let's say that this is my compass, standing on D, I'm gonna go beyond B. Let's say that I'm gonna go right there so we have squares to measure and now this is uh, this is gonna be one two three and one little one three and one little one so now I'm standing on C I'm gonna do the same same distance so it's gonna be one two and three all right right there and that is the same distance CF is the same distance as DE all right, what's going to happen with this is that that's going to help me construct a perpendicular line to AB. So now what's going to happen is I'm going to draw a perpendicular line from B where those two arcs intersect. You see right there? They're intersecting. Okay, uh, a little bit below. Intersecting right there. So arc, the arc that I created, standing on C all the way to F and standing on D all the way to E, they intersected over here on the top. Where those two arc intersect, I'm gonna connect that point with my point B. Remember my, my square, and let me bring this, my square, the base is A, B, all right? Uh, hold on, let's not use that, let's use this. My square is A, B, all right? That's my base. So everything is my base. Uh, I use my arc here. Remember, I was standing in B, and I said, all right, let me make an arc on the left and the right side, all right? And I made an arc. Then I said, standing right there, standing right there, I'm gonna make an arc standing right here, and let me put an X, and standing on point C, all right? It says, standing on those two points and going beyond B, I'm gonna make an arc. So I make an arc over here and I keep going, keep going all the way to the top. Right? And I make the arc. With the same distance, my same radius, I stand on C. And I went beyond B and now I'm making this arc. And I said where they intersect, I'm gonna connect that point to point B. And there's gonna be a line that is perpendicular, that line is perpendicular to line AB, all right? Now I know that line is perpendicular, okay? That's it, so far that's my construction. But that's the main thing, because now I know that those two are perpendicular lines, okay? That was the idea, I know that those two are perpendicular lines, so right now I have a 90 degree angle right there, which I needed. Now it's just a matter of making more arcs. So now what's gonna happen is, I'm gonna come over here. Okay, let me get rid of this. And I'm gonna use a compass. And now 
I want to see the distance between here and here. That's the base, all right? So that's how big is my base. But guess what? Look at this arc. That's giving me the same distance that I have from A to B, okay? So let me see. I have one, two, three, four, five, and six. Now with the same radius, I'm going to create another circle. So another circle, standing on B, I'm going to go one, two, three, four, five, and six. And now that's my point H, okay? And now I know that this AB is the same as BH, all right? Now I need a point over here, all right? So I'm standing on H and using the same distance from A to B, I'm going to go this way, standing on H. One, two, three, four, five, and six. And where they intersect, here's my, here's my, my last point. So now what's happening is the following. Point H is a point of my, my square where these two arcs intersect as a another point. So let me just draw the lines now. And now I have, I know it's a little bit confusing because there's a lot of arcs, but I, I'm trying to use this highlighter on the top. So now I connect H. Oh, I need a straight length, straight segment. Here we go. From here to I and from I to A. And now that's the construction of my square. Okay? I hope this helps. Uh, thank you. My next problem is another translation, so I'm going to cut out the, my video right there. Those two constructions, guys, I hope you got the idea. Uh, it's a lot of arcs, but again, uh, a construction is not simple. All right? So just review it again. Okay? Again, if this helps, Please subscribe to the channel, like the, the video, and thank you for watching.